Right, we're going to be drawing the ramp for our little skateboard ramp uh, as a first angle orthographic projection. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure down from the top of the page approximately 90 millimeters um, from the top. And I'm going to draw a construction line going across like that. And I'm going to measure off the length of the ramp, which was 175 millimeters. So I'm just going to take my pair of compasses and I'm going to go in here and measure off my 175. There we go, 175. Take it to my construction line over here, mark it off, and I'm going to draw a line going across from there to there. Right, there's my length of line, 175. You'll see that there's a little bit extra construction line coming out over there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a 90 degree line to that point. What I do there is I take my pair of compasses set to any length and I make a little arc on that side, make a little arc on that side. I then take my pair of compasses, extend them out a little bit, make an arc like that and make an arc like that. That will give me a line going exactly at 90 degrees to that point going up. Make that a construction line going up. Right, once I've done that, I need to get a 45 degree angle over here, which is half of 90, which means that I need to bisect that angle. I take my pair of compasses, I arc it around like that, I extend them out a little bit, I make an arc over there, go down there, make an arc over there, and that will give me a 45 degree angle going from that point over there. In other words, I bisected my 90 degree. The next thing that we need to do is to bisect my 22 and uh, bisect that 45 degrees to get the 22 and a half degrees. So I can set my pair of compasses, make a small arc between those two, take the pair of compasses like that, make a small arc there, go up there, make a small arc there, and that will give me a line going at 22 and a half degrees construction line. Now in my specifications I didn't say how high the thing needed to be so you could draw a line going straight up like that and you could get a height but I could also have a line going out like that and get a totally different height. I haven't specified so it could be any height that you wanted really as long as that angle is set at 22 and a half degrees. I'm just going to make mine at 90 degrees over here. There we go. From there to there and from there to there. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the top view of this thing. Right, so here's my ramp in that position. My top view, what's it going to look like? It's going to look like a block. How do I get that? I take my lines down from my front view because the length is still going to be represented on my top view. I'm going to draw a line going across there and uh, I measured down the 56 that we said it was going to be. There's my 56. And I draw a line going across there. Draw a line going up there. Draw a line going up there. And there's my top view. The last thing that we need to do is to draw the left side view of this thing. I'm going to construct a 45 degree line coming from that point over there. I then take lines going from this corner across to the 45 take lines going from that corner across to the 45 and from that 45 I'm going to draw a line going up there and a line going up there the space between that is going to be the same as the space between that so 56 there 56 there my left side view what's it going to look like well there it is you'll see it's sort of like a, a shape like that I'm going to end up going like that. There's the base of it. Go up to the top. There's the top of it. Take that line across. And there we go. There's my left side view of the ramp. Right, the next video, I'll show you how to put dimensions on.